Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, verse 105. Hello everyone, it's so good to be back. I just want to come and remind you today that the Word of God has taught us last week that His Word is like a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. And as I explained to you last week, the Bible is like that map that shows us in what way to go. It tells us what is wrong and what is right. And it gives us all the answers to the very difficult questions that we might have in life. The Bible is a way that God speaks to us and it helps us in so many different ways. The best of it all is that God's word tells us all about Jesus and that is called the gospel. God's word is perfect and it is pure and Everything written in this book is 100% true. And how do we know that? The Word says so. Now, if God's Word is so important, do you think that He would not do anything to keep His Word safe? Indeed, He will. God will keep His Word safe forever so that it can last, so that it, from generation to generation, we can all use this as a guideline so that we will know how to live a life that pleases God. And for that reason, because God loves his word, because he's, this is his own words, he preserves it. Another word for preserve is just to keep it safe, to protect his word. Now, I want to explain to you what that big word, preserve, mean. So I thought, I'm going to call a special friend to demonstrate, to explain to you what preserve mean. Missy Mouse? Yes? Hello, how are you today? Good, and you? I'm very well, thank you. I want to explain to the children what preserve mean. Will <gasps> you help me? Oh, thank you. I need you to get into this bag. In that bag? How mm -hmm. am I going to breathe? Oh, Missy, you're a champ of holding your breath. You will do it easily. Oh, thank you. I forgot about that. Will you get in? Yes. <gasps> Deep breath that she took there. Now, I'm going to close this zipper bag because I want to protect Missy Mouse. I want to keep her safe because, you see, she's very special to me. But I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to take this bowl and I'm going to put it inside. Oh, let me just keep, close it properly. And I'm going to put it in a bowl of water. Do you think it will stay safe? Or do you think it messy mouse might get wet? Let's see. What happened? Out you go, messy mouse. <gasps> oh man, that was a long time to hold your breath. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. A little bit dizzy, but it's okay. Thank you so much for helping me to demonstrate to the children what preserve means. So, you see, Missy, I've put you in this bag because I want to take care of you and protect you because I love you very, very much. Now, I have a question for you and the children. I want to know, do you think, Missy Mays, that... God needs a bag to protect his word? Oh no! God is powerful and very wise. He always protects his word and kept it safe. And he always will. You are so clever, Missy. Indeed, God is powerful. And he's also very, very wise. So he doesn't need a zipper bag to protect his word. Oh no! 
You know, God's word is the most important book in the whole wide world. And it's the best book ever. You see, God loves his word because it's special to him. So he will do anything to protect his word. And I'm so grateful, Missy. You know, if, if it wasn't for God preserving, taking care and protecting his word, then you and me and the children were, wouldn't have this guideline to follow. We would not have no, been able to know what is right and what is wrong. And that would have been very bad, don't you think? Yes, it would. Indeed. So God preserved his word so that we can have the joy of being able to read his word. Now, we love God, right? Yes, of course. But unfortunately, Missy, there's some people that doesn't think so. They don't love God and they don't value God's word either. They want to destroy it. That's terrible. Oh no, another big word? Yes, another big word. Um, destroy just means to ruin something, you know, so that you can't use it again. Oh. Mm. Do you think that God will allow anyone to ruin his precious word? Oh no, God is powerful and very wise. That is so true. I'm going to share a story with you and the children today about a bad king that didn't love God and that didn't value his word. But God kept his word safe because God's word is living and powerful. And it's that lamp to our feet and a light to our path, helping us and directing us and that's why God will always protect and preserve his word. There was a man named Jeremiah. He was a prophet of God. That means God would tell Jeremiah what he wanted the people to know and it was Jeremiah's job to then tell exactly what God said. Jeremiah had a friend who helped him write down all the words that God said. They didn't have books back then so they wrote on scrolls that were then rolled up. One day, King Jehoiakim was listening to God's words that Jeremiah had written down. But the king did not like God's word at all, because he did not love or fear God. In Jeremiah 36 from verse 22, we read, Now the king was sitting in the winter house in the nine month, with a fire burning in the fire pot before him. Oh dear, the house is freezing, said the king. Where is some more firewood? Where is my scribe, Jehudi? Wasn't he going to read something to me? Oh, here you are. Well, start reading then. Jehudi the scribe began to read the words of God from Jeremiah the prophet. But as he read three or four columns from the scroll, the king shouted, Stop reading! I don't want to hear any more! Give me that scroll. Then he took the scroll and cut pieces off the scroll with a knife. And he threw the pieces into the fire in the fire pot until the entire scroll was consumed in the fire. King Jehoiakim lost his temper when he heard God's word. So the Lord told Jeremiah to take another scroll and write the words again. Jeremiah obeyed God and wrote down what God was telling him one more time. So there you have it. A bad king that wasn't interested in God's word. But God had a plan because he loves his word. He will keep it safe and protect it. I just want to take a minute with all of you and pray and say thank you to the Lord that he keeps his word safe so that you and me can live from this so that it can guide us and so that we can learn more about the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's close our eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, I just want to thank you today that we have your word, that you preserved it and that you are keeping it safe. 
so that we can learn more about you, so that we can have this guideline to know what to do and how to live a life that is pleasing unto you. We love you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.